Every discovery begins with a mystery. What if the greatest clues to hidden diamond fields weren't in high-tech detectors, but in nature itself? Tiny creatures digging in silence, roots spreading through the earth, trails that seem ordinary, all pointing to something far greater. Termites, rats, and even plants have been unknowingly revealing the Earth's buried treasures for centuries, and few people ever noticed. Today we uncover how these natural messengers lead explorers straight to hidden veins of diamonds and gemstones, secrets that detectors can't even sense. This is Pro Gems, where the Earth reveals her secrets, one clue at a time. Tiny creatures march tirelessly. They're small, fragile. They may hold the key to one of the greatest discoveries of all time. Imagine following nothing but the trail of termites, only to stumble upon something so rare, so valuable, that it changes your destiny forever. This is not a myth. This is not a fantasy. This is a true journey into the world of diamonds, guided not by human hands, but by the tiniest of insects. What lies beneath your feet right now? Soil? Rock? Maybe roots of trees? But deep below, far beyond what your eyes can see, there are treasures locked away for billions of years. Diamonds. Forged under unimaginable pressure and heat, diamonds are born more than 100 miles beneath the Earth's surface in the molten depths of the mantle. Only violent volcanic eruptions can carry them upward, embedding them inside pipes of hardened volcanic rock known as kimberlite. Over time, erosion scatters them into rivers, valleys, and soils. But here's the challenge. Diamonds don't shout for attention. They don't glow in the dark. They don't reveal themselves easily. Finding them is like looking for a single needle in a mountain of hay. And this is where our unlikely heroes come in. The termites. At first glance, termites seem like nothing more than a nuisance. Wood eaters, destroyers of crops and homes. But beneath the surface, they are master builders. Their colonies dig intricate tunnels that stretch meters underground. They carry soil grain by grain, tirelessly shaping enormous mounds that can stand taller than a human. But here's the twist. As they dig, they bring up more than just soil. In certain diamond-rich areas, termites unknowingly collect tiny fragments of kimberlite. Inside these fragments, there may be microscopic traces of diamonds. To the untrained eye, it's just dust. But to a geologist, it's a flashing signal, like a map drawn by nature itself. By analyzing termite mounds, scientists have identified hidden deposits of precious stones. It's almost as if the termites are pointing the way, guiding explorers toward treasures buried deep below. Nature, in its own mysterious way, has given us little miners, working tirelessly day and night without ever realizing the fortune they are uncovering. A group of prospectors walks across the African savanna. The sun is merciless, the ground is cracked and dry, supplies are dwindling. Every step feels heavier than the last. They've searched for weeks, maybe months, with no success. No signs of diamonds. No glimmer of hope. But then, one of them notices a mound in the distance. It looks ordinary, just another termite fortress standing proudly against the horizon. But curiosity pushes them to investigate. They scoop up handfuls of soil, placing them into small pouches. Back at camp, they peer at the samples through a simple magnifier. At first, it's nothing but dirt. Then, something sparkles. Tiny crystals, glittering under the blazing sun. The crystals aren't diamonds themselves, but indicator minerals. Garnet, ilmenite, and chromite. These are the trusted companions of diamonds, often found alongside them in kimberlite rock. Driven by hope, they dig deeper. Days pass, and then, the ground gives way to something extraordinary. Kimberlite the volcanic rock they've been praying to find. And within that rock, diamonds, rough, raw, and untouched for millions of years. What began as a simple mound of termites turns into a discovery worth millions of dollars. Nature had been hiding its treasure in plain sight, and the termites, without knowing it, had drawn the map. But before you think termite-guided diamond hunting is easy, let's step back for a moment. Diamond prospecting is one of the hardest, riskiest, and most uncertain ventures on Earth. For every miraculous find, there are countless failures, 
Prospectors spending months in the wilderness, digging through endless soil, and finding nothing but disappointment. The suspense is brutal. Every shovel of dirt carries the hope of fortune, but also the weight of crushing failure. Yet they continue. Why? Because a single diamond can rewrite destiny. History is filled with stories of fortune seekers who stumbled upon one shining stone and emerged from poverty into unimaginable wealth. The allure is irresistible. Diamonds are not just stones. They are promises of transformation. In some of the world's most famous diamond fields, whether in Africa, India, or South America, geologists and miners alike have learned to read the land. The rivers whisper secrets. The hills carry scars of ancient volcanic eruptions. And yes, even termite mounds offer hints. The process is like detective work. You don't always find diamonds directly. You find their companions, their shadows, their fingerprints. Indicator minerals, soil chemistry, and the patterns of erosion all become clues. Every prospector learns one rule. The earth never gives up her secrets easily, but when she does, the reward can be beyond imagination. But the story doesn't end with termites and ants revealing hidden treasures. The real magic lies in what these small discoveries mean for the bigger picture. Every tiny crystal unearthed, every glimmering fragment in the dirt, could be the clue that leads prospectors to the heart of an undiscovered diamond deposit. When geologists analyze samples brought up by insects, they're not just looking at a single piece of rough diamond, they're piecing together a larger puzzle. That small grain might be the first signal that a kimberlite pipe, a volcanic channel that carried diamonds from deep within the earth, is nearby. These pipes are where some of the richest diamond mines in the world have been found. Here's where it becomes fascinating. Prospectors use a method called indicator mineral analysis. They search for minerals like garnet, ilmenite, and chromite, which often form alongside diamonds. But finding them usually requires digging, expensive machinery, and plenty of luck. Termites and ants, however, unknowingly do the hard work. By burrowing and carrying material from meters beneath the surface, they bring these minerals right to the ground surface. This isn't just about saving time or money. It's about changing how we explore. Traditional mining scars the land and disrupts ecosystems. But what if instead, we relied on nature's architects to guide us toward resources with far less destruction? The more scientists study this, the clearer it becomes. Termites and ants are not pests. They're partners in discovery. Their instinctive behavior, refined over millions of years, points us toward wealth buried deep underground. And this wealth isn't measured only in money. Diamonds are more than gemstones. They're windows into Earth's ancient history, formed under crushing pressures billions of years ago. So when an ant carries a diamond fragment from its nest, it isn't just moving carbon. It's unknowingly sharing a piece of Earth's hidden story. A story written deep beneath our feet, waiting for someone curious enough to notice. And that brings us to the final question. What else is hiding below the surface? waiting to be revealed by the smallest creatures. If termites can lead us to diamonds and ants to hidden minerals, who knows what other secrets they may uncover? Maybe the true treasure isn't only the sparkling stones. The greater treasure might be the lesson itself, that even the smallest, most overlooked creatures on Earth can guide us to discoveries beyond imagination. We've seen animals reveal hidden treasures, but now nature itself takes the lead. Throughout history, prospectors and explorers have searched for signs that point to hidden gemstones. While rivers, soil, and rock formations often give clues, one of nature's most reliable indicators comes from a surprising source, plants. Certain species of plants thrive only in mineral-rich soils, soils that often harbor gemstones below the surface. These plants act as silent locators, living markers that reveal the Earth's hidden wealth. By understanding them, Prospectors can identify areas worth closer inspection without lifting a shovel. The first type of plant associated with gemstones is indicator trees. These trees are not randomly scattered across landscapes. They grow where the soil composition allows them to flourish, often drawing nutrients from mineralized ground. In some regions, tamarind, eucalyptus, and teak are noted as subtle companions to mineral-bearing soils. The explanation lies beneath their roots, 
the presence of mineralized gravel beds that sometimes cradle sapphires, garnets, or quartz. A seasoned prospector knows that the shade of these trees often conceals more than fallen leaves. It conceals geological history. Moving deeper into the wild, the second plant type emerges, grasses of mineral soils. Certain grasses have evolved to tolerate soils rich in specific elements. Elements also linked with gemstone formations. Tall, wiry grasses, sometimes silvery in sheen, have been observed growing across old alluvial plains. These plains, formed by the slow movement of rivers over centuries, are known to deposit crystals and gem-bearing gravels. The grass roots act as stabilizers, binding the soil, while hinting at the treasures locked beneath. Their appearance in clusters across otherwise barren ground often signals that minerals, and sometimes gemstones, lie close. The third type is more delicate, but no less telling. Wildflower Pioneers Certain species of wildflowers thrive where gemstone-bearing veins rise close to the surface. Their colors often mirror the minerals beneath, vivid purples, deep reds, or unusual yellows, not because the flowers themselves contain gems, but because their roots feed on mineral traces in the soil. Geologists have long observed this relationship in areas rich with quartz and amethyst. Where the soil chemistry is hostile to most plants, these wildflowers flourish, standing as bright indicators above an otherwise rugged landscape. Suspense builds when these plant indicators are seen together when trees, grasses, and wildflowers cluster in unusual harmony. The earth is rarely random. Such alignments often mark geological transitions. And where transitions exist, gemstones often follow. The fourth plant type draws attention not for its beauty, but for its resilience. Shrubs of harsh ground. Shrubs with gnarled, twisting stems are often the only vegetation that can survive in soils carrying high mineral content. These hardy plants push their roots deep into rocky layers, sometimes reaching cracks that once carried hydrothermal fluids, the same fluids responsible for depositing crystals and gems. When found in clusters across eroded hillsides, these shrubs silently reveal where erosion has exposed gem-bearing veins. Finally, the fifth type of plant is among the most fascinating, metal-accumulating species. These plants are rare, but they naturally absorb unusual levels of minerals from the ground. Some species contain traces of nickel, chromium, or even beryllium, elements closely tied to the formation of emeralds and other gems. Their leaves, when analyzed, reveal chemical signatures of the earth below. While most observers walk past them, trained eyes know that such plants may mark the exact soil chemistry where gemstones form. Together, these five plant types form a natural code a living guide to the hidden geology of the earth. Indicator plants are more than clues on their own. They become powerful when read in the context of the landscape. A single tree, a patch of grass, or a cluster of shrubs may mean little in isolation. But when several of these species grow together, and when their presence aligns with water flow, mineral soils, or exposed rock, the signal becomes undeniable. Consider the case of sapphire-bearing regions, in certain highland zones, eucalyptus trees and wiry grasses grow side by side on eroded hills. Beneath these soils, the gravel beds contain corundum crystals, the mineral family of sapphires. The plants are not the treasure themselves, but their survival marks the chemistry of the ground that nurtures the gems. In areas known for emeralds, shrubs and metal accumulating plants often dominate rocky slopes. These plants tolerate the beryllium-rich soil where emeralds are born. Their twisted, resilient growth is nature's signal that the geology beneath is unusual. When combined with quartz veins and dark shale outcrops, they paint a clear picture. This is emerald country. For garnet deposits, the evidence often lies in wildflower pioneers. Bright flowers glowing red and purple against barren soil are nourished by iron-rich ground. This same chemistry allows garnets to form in metamorphic rock, and erosion frees them into the gravels below. The flowers above are the heralds. The crystals below are the reward. Black sands and riverbeds add another layer to the story. When indicator plants cluster along the edges of streams, their presence reveals mineral content washed down from higher ground. These plants thrive in the mineral-rich sediment, while beneath the water, 
Gems settle in pockets where the current slows. The connection is direct. Plants mark the chemistry, water moves a stone, and the patient prospector follows both. Of course, not every patch of unusual vegetation hides gemstones. False signals exist. Some plants adapt simply to poor soils with no connection to minerals of value. This is where knowledge sharpens the search. Geological mapping, soil study, and careful observation separate chance from certainty. The difference between wasted effort and remarkable discovery lies in reading not just the plant, but the entire environment in which it grows. The method can be summarized into a professional approach. 1. Identify the plant types known to thrive on mineral soils, trees, grasses, flowers, shrubs, and accumulators. 2. Study their patterns. A lone specimen may be coincidence, but clusters along a geological feature mean more. 3. Observe the terrain. River bends, hillsides, and eroded slopes often expose gem-bearing layers. 4. Check the soil composition. Darker, denser, or unusually gritty soils usually accompany mineral wealth. 5. Link plants with geology. Only when both signals align should a site be considered for closer study. This balance of botany and geology is what professionals rely on. It turns random searching into directed exploration. And it explains why seasoned prospectors often seem to know exactly where to look. Suspense deepens when all five plant types converge. Imagine a hillside where shrubs claw at mineral veins, grasses shimmer silver in the wind, wildflowers paint the ground with unnatural brightness, and towering trees rise from dark soil. This is not chance. It is nature's announcement that something valuable lies below. Across continents, this technique has repeated itself. From Asia to Africa, from South America to remote mountain valleys, plants have marked the path to discovery. They do not lie. They do not move without reason. Their very survival depends on the minerals locked within the soil, the same minerals that crystallize into gemstones. The lesson is simple, yet profound. Prospecting does not always begin with a pickaxe. Sometimes it begins with the leaves on a branch, the stem of a flower, or the roots of a tree gripping hidden gravel. The earth speaks through its vegetation. For those willing to observe, the message is clear. Nature hides its treasures in plain sight, if you know where to look. From termites building atop diamond veins, to plants thriving where gemstones lie below, every clue is alive. So next time you see a trail, a mound, or a strange plant growing alone, stop, look closer. The ground beneath your feet might be hiding the next great discovery. Because nature doesn't shout where her riches are, she whispers. Pro Gems. Uncovering nature's secrets, one discovery at a time. Subscribe now and join the hunt for hidden treasures.